Surveillance video of a carjacking in a Waffle House parking lot is the start to a bad ending in Oxford. Now, if this individual was shooting police officers and carjack a vehicle right across the street from a uniformed marked unit, just imagine what he'd do to our citizens. That individual, Police Chief Bill Partridge says, is Alexander Cade Lanier. After midnight, Lanier points a gun at two people, then steals their car. An Oxford police officer who just happens to be across the street pursues him, but Lanier doesn't stop. This individual shouldn't be walking our streets. He should be in jail. For 18 minutes, the 26-year-old led officers on a chase. Chief Partridge says Lanier's done this before with Pell City Police. He was supposed to be in a court-ordered rehab facility, but he walked away. This individual's got a 48-page rap sheet. We got problems with individuals walking our streets like this every single day and being let out of jail or walking away from rehab facilities who have major felonies. And then we have to stand here and we have to justify what we had to do. During the chase, Lanier shot at officers. The pursuit stopped on Airport Road near Alabama 21. That's where officers killed the South Carolina native. The gun police found on him was stolen from Moody, Alabama Sunday. This man lived in South Carolina and he was using I-20 as a corridor to commit crimes, felonies. And unfortunately, he ended up here this morning, and now we're having to deal with the aftermath. Partridge, who's upset, has this message for lawmakers, who he says have watered down the criminal system. We need to pass laws in this state to prevent this type of stuff from happening and putting our men and women who are putting their lives on the line every day from having to deal with this crap. St. Clair County Sheriff's Office is conducting the officer-involved shooting investigation. The officers are on paid administrative leave until the investigation is over. In Oxford, Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13.